Hello guys, in today's video, we are going to talk about all the details regarding USMLE steps. Because majority of the students after they finish their MBBS or MD, they want to pursue their medical career in the USA. But due to lack of proper information, majority of the students will be wandering here and there to know right information regarding USMLE steps. So let us clear everything about USMLE in this video. So first let us talk about the United States Medical Licensing Exam, what exactly it is. And this USMLE is governed by a committee that includes members from ECFMG, FSMB, NBME and the public. So before you can apply for a medical license, you must pass a three-step test called as United States Medical Licensing Exam, also known as the board exam. And this exam is mandatory for foreign medical graduates completing their MBBS from med schools and colleges outside US and Canada to get licensed to practice as a doctor in USA. Not only that, obviously US doctors and US med school students also write USMLE exam. It is a bit tougher and also a bit challenging for majority of the foreign medical graduates. So this United States Medical Licensing Exam is a three-step examination for the medical licensure in the United States and it is sponsored by the Federation of State Medical Boards called as FSMB and the National Board of Medical Examinations called as NBNB. So these are the regulatory bodies we can say. Okay. So now first let us talk about what is the eligibility criteria for the USMLE exam. So the physicians with an MBBS or MD degree are required to pass this examination before being permitted to practice medicine in the US. And this is intended as a brief description of the organizations that are directly involved with or contribute the USMLE program. The USMLE or the United States Medical Licensing Examination Program is owned by two entities. As I already mentioned, one is FSMB and another one is NBMB. And USMLE has totally three steps. USMLE step one, USMLE step 2 and USMLE step 3. So let's talk about each and every step in detail. First let me talk about the USMLE step 1. USMLE step 1 is a one day examination and it is divided into 60 minute blocks and administered in 8 hour testing session. And the number of questions per block on a given examination may vary but it will not exceed 40. So the total number of items on the overall examination will not exceed 280. So it also touches upon the interdisciplinary areas like genetics, aging, immunology, nutrition and molecular and cell biologies other than the basic subjects like anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, pathology, pharmacology, microbiology and immunology. So the candidate must be enrolled in or a graduate of a med school that is located outside the US or Canada which is listed in the World Directory of Medical Schools. Then only you are in a position to appear for the USMLE Step 1 exam. As per the latest information that is as of January 2022, however this will be no longer be the case because USMLE Step 1 will be graded as pass or fail exam and will no longer be a primary determinant of one's competitiveness as a residency applicant. Meaning, at present, USMLE Step 1 is a pass or fail exam. So, there is no scoring system and the score will not impact your residency opportunities. So, only Step 2 CK score will be taken into consideration for the residency program. So, the main reason for this change was to improve the well-being of the first and second year medical students by decreasing the stress around the Step 1 exam. So majority of the students, especially in these years, face burnout and depression, which is considered to be a big problem among medical students. And having one exam pretty much determine your entire career trajectory was unsurprisingly incredibly stressful for vast majority of the students. So historically, the first two years of the med school have been spent stressing and grinding for this exam. So the thought process is that by making it pass fail, much of the stress will go away. That is the main reason. Now they have converted this USMLE step 1 exam into pass or fail exam. 
So the scores will not be a mandate for the selection of residency. I am repeating once again, only step 2 CK score is going to be considered for residency but not the step 1 and step 1 will be just pass or fail exam. Now let us talk about when to apply. Generally, the permission is given by the board to apply after finishing second year of the med school but majority of the foreign medical graduates will apply after they finish their MBBS especially during their internship. And what is the fee for the USMLE Step 1 which is at present as of today it is $985 which includes examination fee plus international test delivery surcharge if testing outside the United States and Canada. And let me talk about how to apply. It can be applied online through the ECFMG official website. And what is the charge if you want to extend the eligibility period? So extension of eligibility is $100 per exam. Now the question is where to take this USMLE Step 1 exam? Especially this USMLE Step 1 exam is held at the various prometric computer testing centers all over the world. In application, candidate can choose the center of their choice and change the test region and the charge is approximately $90 which is required. And step 1 or step 2 CK rescheduling fee depends upon 0 to approximately $604 depending upon the exam, testing region and date of cancellation. So after knowing in detail about the USMLE eligibility as well as the fee details, what exactly is the USMLE step 1 syllabus? As I already mentioned earlier that the disciplines which are covered in the USMLE step 1 are core subjects like anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, pathology, pharmacology, microbiology and immunology, behavioral science, biostatistics and epidemiology. Right? These are the main subjects which will cover in the USMLE Step 1 exam. So this is what you need to know about USMLE Step 1 and let me talk about what is the USMLE Step 2. And USMLE Step 2 previously used to have two steps which is USMLE Step 2 CK and CS. But they have permanently cancelled the USMLE Step 2 CS and there is only one exam in USMLE Step 2 which is the USMLE Step 2 Clinical Knowledge or CK. So what is the USMLE Step 2 Clinical Knowledge? So Step 2 Clinical Knowledge assesses the examinee's ability to apply medical knowledge, skills and understanding of the clinical science essential for the provision of the patient care under the supervision and includes emphasis on health promotion and disease prevention. And this exam that is USMLE Step 2 CK ensures that due attention is devoted to the principles of clinical sciences and basic patient-centered skills that provides foundation for safe and competent practice of medicine under supervision. So this is the goal of USMLE Step 2 CK. And what is the exam pattern? Like USMLE Step 1, USMLE Step 2 CK is also one day examination and it is divided into 8 60 minute blocks and administered in one 9 hour testing session. A number of questions per block on a given examination will vary but will not exceed 40. Therefore, total number of items on the overall examination will not exceed 318. And the examination also includes a minimum allotment of 45 minutes of break time and a 15 minute optional tutorial. And the amount of time available for the breaks may be increased by finishing a block of test items or optional tutorial before the allotted time expires. Now let us talk about what is the fee of your assembly step 2 CK and it is 985 US dollars which includes examination fee, international test delivery surcharge, if testing outside the United States and Canada. And how to apply? Same like step 1, even this exam can be applied via online through ECFMG official website. And uh, when to take this exam that is mainly after passing USMLE step 1 and after second year of med school even you can take this step 2 but majority of the students can take after the final year of MBBS. And where to take this exam? And this USMLE Step 2 CK can be taken in prometric test centers worldwide same like USMLE Step 1 because USMLE Step 2 CS is permanently deleted from the testing pattern or from the overall USMLE 
steps so it became easier for majority of the aspirants to take these two tests in their home country. Just now I told you that your assembly step 2 exam is permanently cancelled. So let me explain about its background. So it was temporarily suspended due to COVID-19 pandemic. I think around 2020. But on January 26, 2021, the National Board of Examination, that is NBME, officially announced that the permanent suspension of the Step 2 Clinical Skills Examination. So we only have Step 1 and Step 2 CK and Step 3, right? So as a consequence, any student like US MD or International Medical Graduate will now need to pass only US MLE Step 1 and Step 2 CK to become eligible to apply for the US residency matching process. So Step 2 CS is not there and it is not required and is permanently stopped. Now the final journey is the residency in the United States. So the US MLE Step 3 is only offered at prometric test centers in the United States and its territories. The US MLE program recommends that Applicants have completed at least one full year of post-medical school training before taking Step 3 exam. Therefore, many American and foreign medical school graduates use the first year of residency training as a preparation for the USMLE Step 3. So after receiving the ECFMG certification, the candidates can apply for the US medical residency programs. And now let us talk in detail about what is the USMLE Step 3. So USMLE Step 3 is the final examination in the USMLE sequence leading to a license to practice medicine in the United States without supervision. So the USMLE Step 3 is only offered at prometric test centers in the United States and its territories. And USMLE Step 3 assesses whether the candidate can apply medical knowledge and understanding of biomedical and clinical science essentials for the unsupervised practice of medicine with emphasis on patient management in the ambulatory settings. So the examination material is prepared by the examination committees broadly representing the medical profession. So the committees comprise recognized experts in their fields including both the academic and non-academic practitioners as well as member of the state medical licensing boards. The Step 3 examination devotes attention to the importance of assessing the knowledge and skills of physicians who are assuming independent responsibility for providing general medical care to patients. So the first day of Step 3 examination is referred to as the Foundations Independent Practice that is FIP and second day is referred as the Advanced Clinical Medicine known as ACM. And what is the USMLE Step 3 exam pattern and the format? Step 3 is actually a two-day examination. The first day of testing includes 232 multiple choice items divided into six blocks of 38 to 39 items and 60 minutes are allotted for completion of each block of test items. And these are approximately seven hours in the test session on the first day, including 45 minutes of break time and five minutes optional tutorial. And note that the amount of the time available for breaks may be increased by finishing the block of the test item or the optional tutorial before the allotted time expires. So there are approximately 9 hours in the test session on the second day. So this day of testing includes a 5 minutes optional tutorial followed by 180 multiple choice items divided into 6 blocks of 30 items and 45 minutes are allotted for completion of each block of the test items. And the second day also includes a 7 minute CCS tutorial. This is followed by a 13 k stimulations, each of which is allotted a maximum of 10 or 20 minutes of real time. And a minimum of 45 minutes is available for break time. So there is an optional survey at the end of the second day, which can be completed if time allows. So this is what you need to know about the step 3. And finally, before concluding, let us talk about sequence of steps. If you meet the eligibility requirements, you may take step 1 and step 2 CK in any sequence, but you may take step 3 only after passing step 1 and step 2 CK. I hope this information is enough for all of you to know about all the three steps of United States Medical Licensing Exam. Thank you.